Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Beardy Tinker. Today we are going to integrate CO2 signal. We'll start in a couple of seconds. CO2 signal will give you interactive or live map of the CO2 emissions in a region or a country. Unfortunately, as you can see on this map, not all of the countries are supported. Some of the countries have no data available, while other countries just do not have data temporarily available. What this data allows you? This data allows you to see if your country is making a positive or negative trend in CO2 emissions, and you can adapt your energy usage based on that. For example, if your country would start producing green energy during the day, you would turn on your dishwashers or cookers during that period. So let's get cracking with the integration. First thing we have to do is we have to create an account and get the API key from the CO2 signal. Let's sign up. Let's sign up. As stated on the screen, next step should be verification done by email. So go to your mailbox and in mailbox click yes, subscribe me to the list. In the email that you received after you confirmed your account, you should also receive inside your personal API token. Don't delete this email because we will need it later on when we do the integration. In next step, we'll go back to Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, let's open Visual Studio Code. As you can see, this is the new configuration or new installation I have. So let me just add here sensors. And we will call include sensor dot yaml file next let's create a new file let's save it as sensors dot yaml okay and here in the sensors file we should add platform integration so this will be platform And the name of the integration is CO2 signal. CO2 signal. Next step, of course, is to specify API key. So let's type token. And we will be using secrets. So secret. And this will be called CO2 signal API. In terms of the configuration for the sensor, this should be it. But if we go back to the web page, you can see that data for the Croatia is currently not available. So I'll be using Belgium data for this sensor for now. Let's go back to Home Assistant and let's add following line to our sensor CML file country code and here we will be adding two letter abbreviation for country so it will be BE and it should now pull data for this country you also have other options if your country is listed you should omit this and you also have option of providing latitude and longitude for example latitude longitude and let's type something like this this is the demo i think from the configuration page and now it should pull data for this location or this country code okay let's comment this out this should be it for the configuration of co2 signal don't forget to add to your secrets file CO2 signal API and here type your token. Let's verify our configuration. Let's go to configuration, server control. As this is a new installation, I have to go to 
uh, be the Tinker logo and let's select here advanced mode. Let's go back to configuration, server control check configuration and let's restart our server. As you see this is the completely new installation of the Home Assistant and this one is done also on Synology but as HasIO installation. If you want to see how you can do that on your Synology, check the video that will be released this Thursday. Ok, let's go to Overview, let's create new tab. Test, save, let's go to test and let's see if our sensor is now available. Plus, entities. And let's save. And here we have information about CO2 intensity for the Belgium. And you will be in future able to see here the graph. Please bear in mind that this is a free version. If you do too many requests on the update of data, uh, your access may be blocked. Use it carefully. This component can be used to monitor the current country usage or country emission of the CO2 and depending on the number you can do automation warning you or informing you that the current CO2 emissions are very low and that for example you can then use your power hungry equipment or devices and turn them on. And if the numbers rise you can get warning telling you that you should be careful on energy usage and you can and you should turn off your power hungry devices or systems. This is it for this episode of Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, don't forget that you can leave it down in the comment section or contact me on the Discord. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I'll be seeing you soon. Until then, bye bye and have fun.